Hi everybody, I'm Tammy Aaron and you know me as the real Pippi Longstocking. I'm here today at Joplin Collectors Expo and we're having a ton of fun. I brought one of my original costumes from the new Adventures of Pippi Longstocking, the scrubbing day scene that you guys know. Yeah, you guys should come out to the Comic Cons and specifically the ones that I'm at. So go to TammyAaron.com and you'll see my list. Come on out and see me. That's all I know how to do. Draw me something that's Excelsior. Stairs. I worked really hard on that. <laughs> and now it's gone. That's the first purchase? My first purchase of the day. Right. First. Don't sleep on this, it's amazing. So it's your second item of the day. You still haven't bought anything. Still haven't bought anything, but I was given this. How cool is that? Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, that was given to me at a flea market here in town. Um, so just passing it on along, paying it forward. So. Where can we find cool stuff like this? Uh, we have it on Instagram, on IG, um, under V Retro Lair, and we're on a little bit of a hiatus, but we're also on YouTube. What did you get over there? Goose bubbles. Goose bubbles. Cry the Cat, which they did make an episode out of, uh, or at least a portion no, of an I episode. No, I don't like that one. Uh, <laughs> are you terrified yet? Yes! From the series 2000, one of the newer ones, Attack of the Jack from Slappy World, and then A Christmas, a beautiful oh. heartwarming Christmas tale, Ghosts of Fear Street. <laughs> Hang on, what did you find? What, what did you just pick up that what you're showing up? Well, my friend Bruce here, uh, I got the McFarlane Ash, uh, which I've been looking for uh, most of my life. These figures came out, oh, late 90s? Yeah, 90s. Like, it wasn't 2000s, it was earlier than that. And I remember as a kid, because uh, I love horror movies, 
uh, the fact they had a Freddy Krueger action figure blew my mind. And at that time, they were at Kmart, and I was just like, Kmart's got them? And so I ran and got them. The, the great thing, though, is here I scored because usually you find this alone in a, in like a toy bin without the poster in it. And I've always wondered, like, I wonder which McFarlane figure that was. But I got the actual figure boomstick, you know, saw in hand, groovy. Oh, he stole my line. I was going to say, would you I say that's groovy? My, here, I, can, I can say the last line. You can say groovy if you want. <laughs> Just what I needed. Lady Lacey Kryptonite. And so it begins. <laughs> That's adorable. He's got a little hat. And he's squishy. Action hero pose. Totally not ready pose. <laughs> I'm just trying to eat pose. <laughs> Riddle me this pose. Oh, I, I love it. <laughs> like the most thrilling set of Ghostbusters ever. So, yes, absolutely superhero. Superhero pose. This is it, that's right. Superhero pose. You look defeated. It's a three minute round between ankle biter on my right, are you ready? And on my left will be Dobby. This is three minutes. Dobby, are you ready? Get ready. Robots in three, two, one. Fight! Honey has been up from both weapons here. We got a horizontal drum. A lost his weapon again. He's going to try to hold on. As we know that that has been a progressive thought here for Ankle Buyer, but he has been able to win. always tempting me. I keep finding this game and it's like I want to buy it just to give it to people and make them play it because Secret of Evermore is amazing. Okay, so I came back for the candy. <laughs> <laughs> What's he drinking? He's drinking a potion. What's the potion do? It makes him invisible. Good answer. Just do it in here. Just do it in here. They're safe. He wants to see it. <laughs> it's been a long while since I did, so we should be able to 
blame it on you. Blow really hard. Ready? Good job. See how silent it got there So this is totally like Luigi's Mansion jungle gym up here because you've got like platforms, you know, and then you've got to jump onto this and you run across and then like maybe run across back there, but like it just does that all the way down. It's just Luigi's Mansion. Well, the old spawn wizard and it does that. Card. That's kind of cool. So this one's more for Sega. Ah, he's a big fat ditto Snorlax. <laughs> Flip him back. Ta da! <laughs> the worth his weight in plastic. It's a white day for Magneto. Hey, there's a Spider Man. <laughs> what is that? It's missing back piece on the bottom. Well, she's got long hair and yeah, nipple slots. I have another one. Machine gun job, please. Yo, I'm John Woodard. My art handles Master J. Wood. I've done covers for Vampirella, Dracula and Holy Number no. One, a bunch of stuff for Action Lab, Danger Zone, and uh, yeah, pretty much covers. And then I do have some Kickstarters and stuff for my own books and whatnot. So, yeah. It's time for a closer upper. Welcome back, nerdlings. Hey, thanks for joining us on our trip to the Joplin Collectors Expo. As you saw, I mean, you've got video games, you've got comic books, you've got toys, plushies. I mean, there's like rocks, there are bugs and stuff. Bugs. There's so much stuff to collect it's, there. It's a they brand new location this time. It's kind of fun. To, put it to really good use. They too, did, I yeah. So. They I, really, I like really the, did. Uh, the separate halls. Yeah, it gave you a plenty of space at each booth to not feel crowded when there was a lot of people there and right. it kind of made it feel like there wasn't a lot of people there even though there was a oh, lot of people yeah, there. Yeah. Well we wanted to take a closer upper look at some of the things that we picked up there. I didn't really grab all that much but you went plushy crazy. Yeah it didn't feel like I was like I don't think I bought that much stuff but then when you put it all out in front of me it's like oh I kind of did I guess. <laughs> I got Halloween things. Happy Halloween. <laughs> And for some reason, the guy said this was his victim, so it goes with him. But it's Michael Myers as well, so I don't know why. Stab, stab, stab. <laughs> Either way, I got two Michael Myers for the price hey, of one. You got two for one Mikey deal. You can't <laughs> fight that. I really liked this guy because it really did look like a little toddler wearing a Michael Myers costume carving his pumpkin. The only thing that's kind of weird about this, uh, this one here is, first of all, his knife is like really close to his eye and it's making me nervous. And... He's not holding that pumpkin. It's just suspended there. Have you ever seen I'm that? I'm not, I'm not looking inside, no. You ever seen this SNL skit with the it, box it, presents You know, thing? you didn't fall for that joke when I tried it. I'm not falling it for him with him trying it. So you know what this makes it. me think of? It's okay that my mask is a movie quality <laughs> from Step Brothers. It's okay that mine's not movie quality. You got this really cute little witch cat. I got what, a witch cat? adorable witch cat squash mellow with um, a little potion, and I'm not sure what the potion does. It does whatever he wants it to at that time. He's that magical. <laughs> but I just thought he was so cute and adorable, and I love Squashmallows. 
because they're so squashy. And the last plushie that you got had a bit of a retro vibe too. Yeah, I got an original Ewok. And I honestly didn't know they made any more than just Wicket. I have Wicket from when I was a kid from the 80s. Picked him up for a really good price. He's not really all that scruffy or dirty or anything like that. So I'm excited. He's got all of his stuff with him. So I'm happy. This is original from 1983. I would have to go back and rewatch the Ewok of Endor and the Caravan of Courage. But I keep feeling like this is the the girl, like the mom girl. I could be completely wrong. I could be mixing them up because basically the only way to tell them apart was their little capes and stuff. You're definitely more familiar with the films than <laughs> I am because whenever I think of any Ewoks outside of Wicked, I always think of like the cartoon. But yeah. I didn't even know the Ewoks from that either. <laughs> Well, one game find that I got was this Sonic Spinball. Now, the cover is kind of scratched up. It's looking a little bit rough. Fortunately, the buttons all work very nice. This is an original from 1992. Those lovely Tiger Electronics with that battery cover. However, there is a little bit of corrosion there. And Future Tom, if you would, does that thing work? <laughs> And even you got a handheld. What's this thing? It's an Etch-a-Sketch. We originally first thought it was a picture frame with Stan Lee in a cartoon all the way around it. But when I picked it up and looked at it, I was like, no, that's an Etch-a-Sketch. I was like, how neat is that? Even the little knobs have his little face on it. And I just thought it was really neat. Now, the only thing I can do on Etch-a-Sketches are stairs. So I'm a killer at making stairs on here, but otherwise I don't know what else to do with it. But I got it to go with the comic book collection. It's beautiful. I picked up a VHS tape from Deke Video, the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. Now these only have a couple of episodes on them, but whenever I see anything that's gaming related on VHS, I like to try to grab those. <laughs> Check this out. Rowdy Roddy's Rotten Pipes with Rowdy Roddy Piper. Whoa, say that three times fast. Rowdy Roddy's Rotten Pipes with Rowdy Roddy Piper. Rowdy, 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 Rowdy. I'm already <laughs> broken, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, a great cheesy cartoon. I loved all of the live action segments and everything. Oh, Luigi, it's not Rowdy Roddy Piper. It's uh, some hairy lady with the uh, with the uh, plant the dress. Now that's a mistake <laughs> most people make just once. I was gifted a really cool Goosebumps button. This is one of my favorite books growing up as a kid. I really loved the the mask book. He gave this to me because it was given to him. So he was just. Passing it along. Hey, you're playing it forward. Playing That's it awesome. Forward. I love my 3D printed things, and so I found some really cute, movable, tiny little 3D printed things of this little uh, Nessie or Loch Ness monster with a zipper on the back. So I guess it's a costume. I'm not sure, but the little leggies move. I thought that was cute. And then this ghost. But the thing I liked about it was his little legs go up inside there, so then he's just a scary ghost. The last thing I picked up was this fantastic variant cover. We've got Vampirella, we've got Dracula. This is just a cool looking cover already. I really Plus, enjoy the art. I really enjoy things to do with Vampirella. And we even had some local talent on hand to sign that cover for me. So that was very, very cool. And all the more reason whenever you go to these conventions to chat with the people there. You've got artists, you've got yep. writers. It's really, really cool. There you go. I will hand you Thank that. Thank you very much. I'll take Appreciate that. Hey, check this out. It's kind of like me whenever I'm dreaming of Vampirella. <laughs> the last thing I got, I actually won. Well, that didn't take long. You literally just walked in the I door. Oh, there's so many choices. Can figure out what I want. Every year, the Joplin Collector Corps does a nice little raffle. They everybody who attends as vendors donates one item from their booth, and you win. You get the item from the booth, and then it's supposed to like draw you in to go check out the rest of their merchandise. Do we go for an Evil Dead flask or an R2-D2 toy? <laughs> I got this really cool Necronomicon flask from Evil Dead. D do you have to say the words before you... <laughs> I was literally just getting ready to say, do I have to say the words before I can open it? Say the right words. Klaatu, Veretta, Necktie, Necktu, Nickelback, it's Nickelback. <laughs> we have talked to these guys who make these things 
picked up a few items from their booth. They're pretty awesome. They always do amazing work. So I absolutely love this. I'm just afraid to like actually use it as like a pocket thing because it'll like get rubbed off or whatever. So, but I'm really excited to have that. Such a great time. Plus we got to see a bunch of our local con friends, which is always one of the best parts about any convention, expo, event, anything that you go to. So leave some comments down below on what you think of any of these. If you love Vampirella, Super Mario on VHS, or if you just want to see a couple of plushy Mike Myers's go up against an Ewok. I don't know. I, I mean, the Ewoks took down the Empire, so Sprinkle I, I think they've... Sprinkle some magic potion over the top of them. What are you doing? That's a terrible idea. All you're going to do is bring back the whole Thorn storyline. <laughs> Bye, nerdlings. Bye, nerdlings one with the man on himself on here with Stephen King. No, not Stephen King. I don't think you're supposed to be excited to find it on fire. Why not? It's cool. Fire comes up and everything. From the... I almost said Fear the Walking Dead. Tell us who you are, where oh. to find you. <laughs> like yeah. the mic. Throw it right on the yeah. Friday the 13th, no, still no. Evil Dead. Evil Dead, thank you. Thank mm, you. Crazy eyes. Thank you. <laughs> hey brother, you wanna take that Batman thing home with you? Arr, I don't have a shirt on, I can never wear shirts. I'm allergic to shirts. So I got a very cool, <sighs> I'm surprised the 13th again. I don't know, but he's got cute toes. He got the same percent. That's all the time. It's the, I like his toes. I just like the fact that he's on the knobs. <laughs> but he's not a knob lolly. Oh, okay. I've been. That'll be a fun clip to go through. <laughs>